The time has come. Time for Tales of the Extraordinary. Brought to you by Empty Sea Studios and whatever sponsors we can think of. We now take you to Paris, the city of love, during the summer of 1926. Stabbing into the night sky is the famous Eiffel Tower, ninth wonder of the modern world. Tonight, it welcomes a not-so-famous guest, a certain Los Angeles policeman and his simian partner. Mike Sullivan anxiously checks his watch. <laughs> How should I know? I'm not even sure if he's really coming. <laughs> not really. I could care less if he shows up. I'm just doing it as a favor to Miss Kingsley. Dickie's exhibit is on display at the Louvre, she says. You two should absolutely meet up at the party. Monsieur, will you be boarding the elevator car at this time? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, Frenchie. For all we know, he's probably already at the restaurant. Go on up, Monsieur. Great, thanks. <laughs> Got me. Who knew the League of Nations had a police force, much less that they hold parties every year? I'm not going to pass up a free trip to Paris, though. Even if it means bringing your sorry mug along. <laughs> Could this elevator take any longer? No, monsieur, it cannot. Most guests enjoy the scenic view of Gay Paris rather than conversing with their pets. Are you getting fresh with me, pal? I am merely answering your query. My feelings about your sanity and imaginings regarding your relations with your furry companion played no factor in my previous comment. Oh. Okay. I think. We have arrived, monsieur. What's your step? Officer Sullivan? Agent Dupont? But of course, at last we meet. How'd you know it was me? <laughs> uh, all right. Even in Paris, you both make an unusual sight. You had no trouble with customs, I hope? Surprisingly, no. You guys will let anyone into this country. As I said, we are used to the unusual. Where is Monsieur Broughton? Good question. Well, I hope he can make it. I am a large fan of his adventures. Most people are until they meet him. Pardon? Look, Agent Dupont, I don't mean to be rude, but why am I here? I'm sorry? Don't get me wrong. The cruise was great. The department are thrilled to see me gone for a while, and while well, I'm never one to turn down a party in my favor... Actually, there are a number of others being honored by the League tonight. That's the thing. I didn't even know the League of Nations even had a police force. Oi, there it is. What? The answer. No one knows of the League of Nations police force. Ah, oh, so you're a secret organization. If that were so, we would be content. However, we are quite desperate to acquire the international recognition we feel that we deserve. Something made difficult by the exclusion of your nation from our organization. So, you invited me here as a PR scheme. Of sorts, by honoring those who have contributed in no small way to the safety of the world. We hope that those honored might spread the word of our noble organization's goals and existence. Who else we got here? Well, there's a famous scientist, Dr. Heinrich von Kliegel and his daughter. A German? From Texas, actually. I suspect he is just, how do you say, eccentric. Sounds like it. And the Sheba with the dog is his daughter? Oui. A debutant, she claims. So I feel to see how anyone from such a place as Texas could claim to be so. Ask me. A lady as pretty as her can call herself a princess if she wants. We are in agreement. Uh, over there in the corner, is that... Another not... fellow American, we. Oui. The radiant Miss Josephine Baker. I believe you are acquainted with the gentleman she is talking to, no? Moon! Come, let us reunite you both. Speaking of bananas, I've got one you might like to put up your skirt. Ah! I... I don't think your leopard likes me. Oh, contraire, Mr. Moon. She just loves the taste of pig. Hey! Hello, Moon. Sully! Hey, partner, you made it! <laughs> oh, hello, Gatsby. I swear this place is a zoo. We invited Mr. Moon as well for his part in the Holchanowski affair. I just happened to be in town for the premiere of The Shadow of the Unknown. Great timing, isn't it? More like crappy timing for you, Monsieur Randolph. Excuse me? Oh, pardon. This is a great silent film star, Henri. Can't say I've ever heard of you. No, of course. If you had, then maybe you would have realized that your film, if you can call it that, was just a piss-diluted copy of my own. What the hell are you talking about? I refer to the number one movie in all of Europe for the past year. 
Le Chateau d'Ornon. My God. Is anyone in this country not a bastard? I assure you, messieurs, with perhaps a few rare exceptions, the French people want nothing more than to be good friends with your American people. All right, you Yankee pigs. Put your bloated faces on the floor or we will slaughter you like the cows you are. Dan! No! Shut your furious horse! Right? Good! Very good, you feel. You now have the honor of being hostages of the French mafia. What are you smiling at? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. Yes, you should be. Soon, all of France will be sorry. Sorry for losing its way, for becoming that which our ancestors fought against. The French Mafia will bring about a new independence. <laughs> uh, are you laughing at us, American dog? I'm sorry, I just... Did you say French Mafia? We oui, remember that name. But Mafia is Italian. Are you serious? Andrea, please. Don't bother the poor man. He was giving a speech. Sorry, Daddy. I couldn't help myself. He's just so silly. Hello, I am right here. You dare insult me to my face? Princess! Stop it! Stop it! Just stop it or I will strangle you, traitorous boodle, with my bare hands! Monsieur Foucault! Look! What? It is a dog, I know. No. It's Cola. Weird. It is the largest diamond I have ever seen. And it's the last thing you'll ever see if you don't give that lady back her dog. Who are you? Didn't I tell you people to get on the floor? I've got bad knees. Sorry. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Mr... Sullivan. You can call me Mike. I believe I shall. Excusez-moi. I'm sorry to interrupt your mating ritual, but I'm trying to conduct a hostage situation. I will shoot you. Sorry, pal. But you mess with my partner, you mess with me. What is wrong with you people? Are you all... You? Yes, yes, I know. It's me, Randolph... The Great Henri! What? I am your biggest fan. Oh, oui? I do not think I could have been more insulted. Ah, touché. Monsieur Henri, may I have your autograph? On your pistol? Oh, no, of course not. Uh, here, take my pen. Uh, sign it to... Chuck! Try to be a professional, would you? I have had it. I am going to count to ten. Anyone still standing? Still talking? Still signing a goddamn autograph? We will not hesitate to kill you on the spot. Well, you don't have to shout. One, two, three... I'm going to die of boredom before you hit ten. Uh, eight, nine... I'm here. You may begin the festivities. Oh, applesauce. Ah! What the hell happened? The girl he, he killed Jacques with his own pen. Well, where is he? Kill him. I do not know. He, he just... <laughs> Ah, good! A fight! What is this? A zoo? Ah, oh, help! Oh. Ah, Major DuPont of the League of Nations Police Force. Lay down your weapons or they will be taken by force. Okay, we surrender! Please. No, 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 please! Oh, no! Traitors, you have disgraced the name of the French Mafia. <laughs> Stop that! You may have won, DuPont, but you will never catch Foucault! That not just jumped to his death. No, look, he is scaling down the cord connected to the window frame. Dash cunning of him. Indeed. We'll never catch him now. You're kidding, right? Rotten, give me your knife. Whatever for... Oh. Damn. Looks like he made it. He's hopping away. If you Nancy's hadn't been staring like a bunch of loons at his rope, he'd have broken more than his arm. <laughs> hey there, little girl. You all right? Oh, Princess. Poor dear. Come to Mommy. Good girl. Thank you, Mike. Pleasure, ma'am. You must let me thank you for your bravery. <laughs> sure thing. Perhaps some drinks tomorrow at Le Mans Cafe? I have no idea where that is, but I'll be there. <laughs> Mind if I bring my monkey? <laughs> well, it looks like this night is a wash. But I, I just got here. And so ends Chapter 1 of The French Affair. Will the League of Nations capture Foucault, leader of the French Mafia? Will Sullivan be enough man for Andrea von Kliegel, even with his monkey? And will we ever find out what happened to the great Henri? Find out the answer to these and more in the next installment of YouTube's The French Affair, here on Tales of the Extraordinary.